What an incredible week SpaceX is having so far. The company started the week with the successful Demo 2 splashdown on August 2nd, and has continued to deliver impressive results on August 4th with a successful hop test of Starship SN5. The successful flight occurred on SpaceX's second attempt of the day at 6.57pm Boca Chica time, almost a year since Starhopper's successful 150 meter hop test in August of 2019. To backtrack a bit, SpaceX conducted a successful static fire test with Starship SN5 on Thursday, July 31st, after about a month of delays and previous scrubbed attempts. With static fire completed, the next step was to move towards the highly anticipated hop test. The hop test was initially expected on August 2nd, but was probably delayed due to the historic return of astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley aboard Dragon Endeavour from the International Space Station. SpaceX again made an attempt at a hop test on August 3rd, but the test was aborted. According to Elon, a Raptor turbopump spin valve didn't open, triggering an automatic abort. He noted at that time that SpaceX would figure it out tomorrow. And figure it out they did. Despite all the previous delays, SpaceX now finally has its first flight of a full-scale Starship prototype under its belt. It was quite amazing and awe-inspiring to see the test tank fly. The flight occurred in just under one minute. The single Raptor engine installed SN27, given its mounting configuration, provided asymmetric thrust propelling the vehicle to a peak altitude, while the reaction control system helped to orient SN5. Perhaps one of the factors that was pretty cool about the test was the performance of Starship's landing legs. From the stream, Starship's six landing legs perform almost exactly as Elon has previously described. Back in March, he noted that the legs would extend and telescope out prior to landing. Elon tweeted shortly after the test, noting that version 1.1 legs will be approximately 60% longer while the version 2 legs will be much wider and taller, like Falcon, but capable of landing on unimproved surfaces and auto-leveling. What's next? Now that the 150 meter hop test has been completed, we're all eagerly awaiting to see the more ambitious test that SpaceX has planned for the future. According to Elon though, we've still got a while longer before we see that skydiver maneuver. He tweeted that SpaceX will perform several short hops to smooth out launch process, then proceed with the high altitude tests with the body flaps. Other Starship updates. Progress on SN8. It's possible that the high altitude tests will be conducted with Starship SN8, the first full-scale test tank that will utilize three or four stainless steel and employ fins and a nose cone. Construction currently continues on many of the substructures of SN8. Many of the components have already been completed and much of what remains is the assembly of the vehicle. On Friday, July 31st, a new thrust buck was delivered to the site in Boca Chica. It's not quite clear just yet which section this will be used on. Last week Friday, July 31st, another far dome section was also spotted at the site. There is some speculation that this bulkhead could possibly be used for SN7.1, a second 3 or 4 stainless steel test tank, and the follow-up to SN7. And this week, on Monday, August 3rd, new fins and fin actuators arrived in Boca Chica. The events of this week have been quite inspiring to watch. What a remarkable time for spaceflight. SpaceX still has a lot of work to do in the coming months, but for now, things are looking pretty good. And it looks like we're one step closer to Mars. We're, we're going to go to the moon. We're going to have a base on the moon. We're going to have send people to Mars have, and, and make life multiplanetary. And I think this this day heralds a new age of space exploration. That's what it's all about.